Hello and welcome to Two Minutes of Anatomy. I am Dr. Donald Ozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. On today's episode, I'm going to speak about the pectoralis major muscle. The pectoralis major muscle is often abbreviated to the pec major, sometimes even just the pecs. The pectoralis major has two distinct heads, the clavicular head and the sternocostal head. The sternocostal head is located inferior to the clavicular head. There are multiple origin sites of the pectoralis major muscle. These include the head of the clavicle, the anterior sternum, costal cartilages one through seven, the sternal end of rib number six, and the aponeurosis of the external oblique. The pectoralis major muscle inserts into the anterior proximal humerus. The concentric actions of the pectoralis major muscle are flexion, adduction, and medial rotation of the arm at the glenohumeral joint. The clavicular head performs flexion of the extended arm and the sternocostal head performs extension of the flexed arm. The innervations of the pectoralis major muscle include for the clavicular head, it is the lateral pectoral nerve from vertebral levels C5, C6, and C7. And for the sternocostal head, it is the medial pectoral nerve from vertebral levels C6, C7, C8, and T1. Again, the pectoralis major muscle has two heads, the clavicular head and the sternocostal head. The concentric actions of the pectoralis major muscle are shoulder flexion, shoulder adduction, and shoulder medial rotation. The clavicular head performs flexion of the extended shoulder, and the sternocostal head performs extension of the flexed shoulder.